Before we get into the ships themselves, we need to understand two important naval concepts. The first being that naval vessel design is an incredibly complex game of compromise. You have to balance cost versus capability at every step. I have done a video explaining how the US Navy ended up with around 100 vertical launch system cells on their Arleigh Burke class, it is linked at the end of this one. But then there is the other end of the spectrum. If you are India, which is the biggest game in town in the Indian Ocean region, you don't need extremely costly ships to project power. The second thing I want to clarify is that number of missiles carried doesn't necessarily equal number of VLS cells for all ships. Because the American Mark 41 VLS system can be quad-packed, allowing a typical 8-cell module to carry 32 missiles. We will exclude all Mark 41 equipped ships from this video for this reason, but there is an exception that you will find out at the end of this video, so do watch it through. We will also exclude ships older than 2010s, and those built for special roles. To simplify comparison, we will divide the displacement by the number of missiles, as even if you have the best missile in the world, one missile cannot hit more than one target. Let us start with the German Baden Wurttemberg class frigates. With a displacement of 7,200 tons, they feature eight harpoons and two Sea Ram launchers housing 21 missiles each, for a total of 50 missiles. After we divide 7,200 by 50, we get 144 ton per missile. This frigate is only 200 tons lighter than the next entry in the series, which also features the second best anti ship missile and an excellent air defense system. The next entry in terms of armament and sensors is considered as one of the best destroyers in service today. This frigate however has just 8 harpoons and sea rams which has a 9 km range for air defense for similar displacement. The Kolkata and Vishakhapatnam classes have an excellent radar and 16 of the second best anti-ship cruise missiles. What this class lacks is numbers in the SAM department at just 32. It seems lower especially against the comparable Chinese Type 052D destroyer a 7,500-ton design with 64 universal VLS cells. For comparison, these Indian ships feature just 48 missiles and their ton-per-missile rating is 154. With the Chinese buildup happening just outside India's backyard, India must invest in more heavily armed ships to combat any spillover in the long term. Next in line is the Italian Bergamini class. General consensus is that Italian designed anything is an excellent product. Here is a 6,700-ton frigate, in my opinion the best-looking frigate to hit water ever, which is terribly terribly underarmed. This class only has 24 missiles on board, that is 8 Automat anti-ship missiles and 16 Astersams for air defense, making for a ratio of 279 tons per missile. For comparison, the French variant of the Frem frigates feature double the Sams, or same number of Sams plus tactical cruise missiles depending on the variant. This ship's ton per missile number depends on capability that the naval commanders desire. The Nansen class is designed to have two Mark 41 VLS modules, but only one ship from the class of five has the two modules, the rest feature only one. The ships also carry eight naval strike missiles in addition to the VLS cells. Thanks to Mark 41 modules, they can quad pack Sea Sparrow SAMs, that is a total of 32 or 64 SAMs. The ton per missile rating comes down to 132, which is actually better than the fourth place German Baden Wurttemberg. But then you wonder, why I am calling it the worst. This ship essentially is limited to just simple air defense and cannot use the American Standard Missile Series or Tomahawks. If the Norwegians ever want to use them to full potential, they will have to upgrade the modules to tactical length versions. This limits these frigates to 8 or 16 vertical launch missiles. At 8 missiles in Mark 41 cells and 8 anti-ship missiles, the rating is 331 ton per missile, or 220 tons per missile for the twin module ship. 